All right, Janet, thank you. There may not be any snow here in San Diego, but the key for Team USA and Luge could very well depend on what they do here in San Diego. What started as an experiment back in 2004 is now a mandatory training stop. 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence with how the Air and Space Museum's wind tunnel could spell the difference between silver and Olympic gold. It may not look like it, but Aaron Hamlin is traveling at more than 80 miles an hour, or at least simulating that in the Air and Space Museum's wind tunnel. On an actual luge run, they're going faster than that. In this sport, it's not just seconds that count, but fractions of seconds. It's what Olympic coach and two-time medalist Mark Ramey is tracking. We're trying to improve our aerodynamic drag. Our sport is timed to one thousandth of a second. Finding that speed could come from the sled, the uniform, even body gestures. It's what Olympic hopeful Julia Kluke hopes to find out. Really, it's our body position in our sled that we're looking at for advantages or disadvantages. The results are instantaneous, recorded by wind tunnel engineer Stephen Ryle. It may just be a few hundredths of a second, and that's what we're looking for. This is what the wind tunnel felt like at just 29 miles per hour. Notice the handheld streamer Coach Gourmet is holding. Now multiply the wind by three and head down an icy track. This is Chris Matston on an actual run on the track in Sochi, Russia, the side of the upcoming Olympics. The bulk of our Olympic team is going to be made up of these athletes that are here testing. From single sleds to doubles, every thousandth of a second is measured. And possibly helping Team USA to a medal? Uh, that's pretty cool, absolutely. And I get to do that every day. But time is of the essence. Yeah, it's, we're counting down the days. It's uh, less than six months to go. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. Well, let the countdown begin. The team will take the information and start testing next month at Lake Placid. The next Winter Olympics will be held in February.